what's happening inside the concrete as it's hardening. So to understand why concrete behaves as it does and to understand how best to treat it on site, we need to look at the cement paste in concrete under the microscope. Here I have a mixture of cement and aggregate. I've already mixed those together. And now I'm going to add water. And mix that. To produce concrete. Now if we were to take a sample of this concrete and look at it under the microscope at a magnification of about a hundred times, this is what we'd see. The large yellow bits are the pieces of aggregate. The areas of blue with the grey dots is the liquid cement paste. If we really want to understand what's happening in the concrete as it hardens, we need to zoom in between the aggregate particles and look in the microscope to see what's happening in the cement paste. Now zoomed in 500 times and looking just at the cement paste, we'd see something like this. The areas of grey are the particles of cement powder and the blue is the water in between. Now as the cement comes into contact with water, the hydration reactions start. And because what is produced is chemically complex, we call them hydration products. If we were to look at the cement paste again, under the microscope, a few hours after mixing, we'd see the hydration products starting to form. Cement and water react to form hydration products, and it is these that bind the solid particles in concrete together. While I can mix this for the first few hours, by five or six hours it will be very difficult to mix because of the hydration reactions. How long does concrete take to reach its full strength? Well, concrete reaches its initial strength very quickly. Here's a concrete cube that I cast 24 hours ago, and it's already hard to the touch. If I were to look at this in the microscope, then I'd see that the cement and water had already reacted together to produce hydration products, and it was those that were holding the particles of aggregate in the concrete together. After three days, the concrete would have reached a strength typically of 50% of its long-term strength. And the concrete continues to gain strength as the cement and water react together, but it does so at an increasingly slow rate because the individual particles of cement are now protected by the hydration products that are formed, and so it's more difficult for water and cement to come together to react. In construction, we usually assume that concrete has reached its full strength or something very close to it after 28 days. I heard that concrete never stops getting stronger. Is that true? Well, actually, yes, th that is true. So provided there's water around, the cement can continue to hydrate and the concrete will get stronger, but by a smaller and smaller amount. That's actually why we believe that the concrete in the Pantheon, which is 2,000 years old, is probably stronger today than it's ever been.